फुल थिकनेस मीडियम साइड क्रिसेंटिक टेयर इन्वॉल्विंग बोथ अपर एंड लोअर लेमिना इट इज अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन साइज एंड द मोस्ट ईजी वे टू रिपेयर दिस कफ इज अ सिंगल रो रोटेटर कफ रिपेयर हियर वी आर यूजिंग अ हेलीकॉइल सूचर एंकर टू रिपेयर इट इन अ सिंगल रो फैशन बाई सिंगल रो वॉट वी मीन is we need to pass a anchor between the medial and the lateral row and we need to pass three suture limbs through the cuff the center suture limb will be serving as a simple suture and the two other suture limb passing through the cuff will be serving as a mattress suture so this will be a mason allen configuration here we have passed the first anchor and then we have passed the three suture limbs through the cuff now we will be passing the posterior suture anchor we recommend one anchor for approximately 1 1.5 square centimeter of exposed footprint as we have already told you that we need to put three suture limbs through the cuff after we put the anchor then we will be tying the single suture first the simple suture is tied first and this will reduce the rotator cuff on to the footprint thereafter you can tie the mattress suture limb ideally what we do here is we pass and tie both the simple sutures first so as to reduce the rotator cuff tear on to its place once the simple suture is tied we will be tying the mattress suture first on the posterior aspect and then on the anterior aspect this is a simple low cost technique of rotator cuff repair this is particularly useful for beginners who don't want to struggle much for suture management it's a low cost low profile technique because you will be needing less number of suture anchors and the repair quality in these sort of crescentric medium sizes full thickness surprise penetrator tear is good and they will have a very good eventual healing a very important tip here is not to miss the inferior lamina because if you will miss the inferior lamina you will not get the desired power of the rotator cuff at the time of final healing so once you are done with your repair once you have put the suture anchors and the knots into the place you can cut the suture limbs and this is your final construct which include two anchors repairing the rotator cuff in a mason allen fashion here a part of rotator cuff on the lateral part will be uncovered the footprint that is uncovered can be treated with small micro fracture or small holes this is what is described as a crimson duve by steve snyder and this will increase the bleeding and this will ensure that the good healing will take place 